So that didn't work. Can you even see me? And you take a little, oh frick. I'm literally the worst at explaining this. I don't know why I'm trying to make a video like this, to be honest. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Melinda. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys 10 different ways that I wear my hair when it's looking like crap. So a lot of you guys ask me like what I do when I wake up and my hair just isn't looking good or how I get my hair to have definition or be frizz free every single day. And the truth is I don't. If I wake up and my hair looks like crap, I will either rewash it or do one of these hairstyles, honestly. Like my hair doesn't look good down every single day either. So you kind of just gotta play around with it and see what works for you. Um, full disclaimer, a lot of these hairstyles are extremely, extremely simple, but this is what I do and I wanted to maybe give you guys at least a couple ideas. So if you're interested in seeing the 10 different hairstyles that I will do with my hair when my hair is looking like a hot mess, including the one I'm currently wearing, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's just start with the one that I'm currently wearing. It's like a little half up, half down with a scrunchy moment. So I'm just gonna take this down and show you what I do. Okay, so while I'm here, a lot of people ask me how I style my bangs, so I'm just gonna show you. So when I woke up, this is what my hair looked like. So after I wash my hair and let it fully air dry, I just push my bangs straight back and let them air dry with the rest of my hair. They have styling product in them, just like the rest of my hair does. I don't do anything special with my bangs, but when I wake up in the morning, I either leave them pushed back like this. Every time I wear my hair pushed back, or my bangs pushed back, people ask me if I'm growing my bangs out. Um, no, I'm not. I just don't feel like pulling them down every single day. But basically, if I wanna wear my hair, my bangs down one day, this is what I'll do. I'll literally, you guys, it's so simple, but I get questions all the time about how I style my bangs. I just literally like rake my fingers through them and pull them forward until they look how I want them to look. I don't straighten them anymore because they don't need to be straightened because I've ruined the curl pattern in them from heat damage, but... I'm okay with it because I like that I don't have to straighten them every day. It makes it easier. So this isn't a hairstyle. I'm just showing you how I pull my bangs down. But anyway, so for this half up, half down hairstyle, I basically, so I like to leave pieces out that kind of frame my face. So I take hair from about here. I don't scoop it all the way from the front. So I'll take it about here though. And then basically what I'm gonna do is create like a triangle going up to the top of my head towards the back and meeting about here. I don't like to run it straight back and get like the entire top section. I just don't really prefer the way that looks when you see it from the side. So I'm going to take my fingers and meet in the back and then I'll just separate that out. Ow. And my hair is tangly by the way. Everyone always asks me, they're like, if you don't brush your hair, how's your hair not get tangly? It gets a little bit tangly. I'm definitely like pulling it apart. So see now I have all this hair up. Probably not even, but I'm not really that worried about it because the ponytail is gonna sit on top of it anyways. And normally I honestly don't even use a scrunchie, but I will today just because I'm really loving this like emerald color with my purpley red hair. I do like to keep the ponytail like on top of my head, not like towards the back back here. So I'm gonna put it like as directly on top of my head as I can possibly get it. And I'll just wrap this scrunchie super tight. I don't want it to be loose at all. If you make it super loose, it'll start falling down towards the back of your head throughout the day. So then what I'll do is I'll take the front pieces and I'll pull that tighter and that gives it like more volume to actually sit straight up as opposed to again, like further back on my head. So I'll take like the front pieces right here, tighten that, and then I'll pull it around and mess it up and just give it like volume, so. Then I pull the rest of my hair forward and it looks even better than it did the first time, so that's great. I'm kind of sad I have to take this out now. Yeah, so that's how I do that hairstyle. It's super simple. Basically, you just wanna make sure you get enough hair in the ponytail to where you can't see the ponytail through the back of it. Like, you want all of this to be covered in hair. You don't want any like hollow spots. So however much hair that is for you, I know that I have a lot of hair, so it's a little bit easier for me um, and I don't have to use as much hair. But yeah, so this is hairstyle number one. So I really love this hairstyle for when the top layer of my hair, the curls have kind of fallen out or gotten frizzy or just gotten like, they just don't look their best. So that's when I will go to this hairstyle because obviously I'm pulling up the top layer of my hair and if the bottom layers of my hair still have a lot of definition, like they look pretty decent right now. This piece is a little bit stretched out, but for the most part, they're not terrible. So 
that is when I'll wear this hairstyle when the top layer of my hair looks the worst. So I'll pull it up and you can't see it anyways. All right, so the next one is similar. We're basically gonna take half of our hair and put it into a little bun. I'm gonna start about here, leaving out a little bit of hair. And I'm actually gonna go back a little bit further. I'm gonna keep a straight line going back a little bit further and not make as harsh of a triangle. And for this one, I am just about gonna take the entire top half of my hair. So a little bit more hair than the first one. So as you can see, I kept more of a straight line instead of cutting back about right there. So for this one, I'm also not gonna put it as high on top of my head as I did the ponytail. I'm gonna move it a little bit further back and I'm just basically going to try and get all of my hair into a little bun. So I don't really have a specific strategy. I'm just gonna get all my hair and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? So. That didn't work. Okay, I'm literally the worst at explaining this. I don't know why I'm trying to make a video like this, to be honest. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Take the hair bow on my wrist. This is how I always do my buns, by the way. And I'm gonna take the ponytail, and as I'm twisting it, or going to twist it, I'm actually gonna pick up all this hair with it. I just have a ton of hair, and that's the easiest way for me to do it. And then grab this hair with my other hand, and then tuck it into this hand, so that I can get it all into the ponytail holder. Does that make any sense? I don't really know, but that's what I do. And then from there, actually that looks pretty cute. Wait, did I just freaking nail it? From there, I'm just gonna mess it up a little bit and kind of pull it apart. And then if any pieces come flopping out like that, you just grab them and tuck them back in. But that's actually pretty freaking cute already. So I'm gonna leave it, but that's what I do for that. Are these like really simple and stupid? I don't know, but maybe it's giving you guys some ideas, but yeah, so hopefully that doesn't look completely stupid from the side. I don't really know, but you tell me. Actually don't, because I'll cry. Oh no! Ah! Okay, so <laughs> the pieces are coming out. So if that happens, it's totally fine. Just grab them and shove them back in there. And there we are. I have no idea what the back looks like. Just don't look at it. If it looks terrible, just pretend it looks good. Use your imagination. But that's pretty freaking cute. You know? Okay, so the next one is for when my hair is looking very stringy and frizzy. So basically, I don't know if today's really a good example, but what I do is I will take a mirror and always look at the back of my hair before I like leave the house when I'm getting ready. And if my hair is looking like frizzy and like undefined at the top and the bottom just looks like really stringy and gross, this is the hairstyle I'll do. So this is for when, for when my curls still have a little bit of definition, like they're not frizzy at the ends, but they just look really stringy when they're all spread out like this on my back. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but this is what I do. So it's just a cute little low ponytail that I just started doing recently and I'm literally obsessed with it. So it's incredibly simple. I literally just take my hair back like this and I stay like as low on my neck as I can get it, but I don't want it to lay flat like this. So I do try to pull it up like this. That way this hair is gonna be what's like holding the ponytail up. So you wanna have it in the position you want it to stay before you add the hair bow to it. So now I'm literally just gonna wrap this hair bow around probably just twice. Let me see. If twice is enough to hold it up, then I'll just do it twice. If I need it tighter, then I'll do it tighter. So once I do that, then to tighten it so it'll kind of sit up a little bit more, I'll just take like the two top pieces, once again, right here, and I'll just pull that tighter. And that makes it sit up a little bit more and then I'll just fluff it. And throughout the day, I'll continue to fluff it too if I feel like it's getting flat. Um, yeah, and then I'll just like retighten those throughout the day. And then it gives you this cute little ponytail. And with my haircut that I have, it's a really nice like tapered ponytail. Like it's fluffy at the top and it gets skinnier. And I really like the way that looks. And then I'll just pull out like a couple of hairs just because I like the way that looks a little bit better. I like it to look pretty messy and like a little bit thrown together. It just makes my hair look a little bit nicer and not as stringy at the bottom just because it's like clumping all of my hair together. Whereas if this hair was spread across my back, it just looks really gross and noodly. Again, you wanna do this hairstyle when you your hair still has a little bit of definition. So it's not just like a frizzy ponytail. You do wanna see those little waves just a little bit, you know? By the way, if anyone asks where my necklace is from, it's thrifted, I'm so sorry. Um. 
I'm a professional thrifter, what can I say? And if you want this to be any messier, you can like pull these pieces out, loosen them up a little bit, give yourself more volume at the top, whatever you wanna do. Um, I like it exactly as is though, so this is how I wear it. You know? I don't know why I keep doing that. Um, so this, I feel like, in my opinion, is a little bit of like a grungier style. I think it's grungy. Maybe that's just my style though, so I make it look that way. But if you want to make it a little bit like cuter and fancier, you can add a cute little hair scarf. So this is one that has like a scrunchie at the end. So you'll just wrap that around your little pony and then pull your little hair scarf around. <gasps> I haven't actually worn this hair scarf yet, I just got it, but look how freaking cute that pattern is. So I got this from like a little local store. I don't think it's like everywhere, it's just in my town, but <gasps> how freaking cute with my hair. Are you kidding me? That's adorable. It doesn't really go with the rest of my outfit, but just pretend. So cute. Now I feel like, um, what's her name? Kristen Johns. She's the cutest. I'm like obsessed with her YouTube channel right now. Okay, so this next hairstyle is what I do when my hair doesn't even look good at the ends. Nothing I'm doing is looking good at all. I've tried the half up look. It looks like crap. I've tried the low ponytail look, but my ends are just like too jagged and bent out of shape and I slept on them and they just look like a freaking disaster. That's where this next hairstyle comes in. So, so this is just a little low bun and this is what I'll do when I don't fully want to go to like the messy bun on top of my head. I really don't like wearing my hair like that. I don't think it's very flattering on me and I just think it's kind of boring. So if I still want to feel like my hair has a little bit of a style to it, this is what I'll do. So for the low pony to, or for the low bun, I'm going to do similarly to how I did the low pony start about here. And again, when I'm doing a bun, when I go to twist, the hair tie, I'll grab all of my hair and then wrap it around like that. And then I do like it to be pretty messy like that. I don't like it all. That's kind of cute though, if you want it to be like a little bit fancier, but I don't like that. I like it to be like as big and messy as possible. So I'll just mess it up, but I don't like these long pieces hanging out. I think that looks weird. So I'll take those and I'll tuck them back in. Does that look any different than from where I started? I'm not really sure. And then I'll pull these little front pieces out again. And with this one, I'll even like loosen this up a little bit more. Cause I just want it all, like I'm kind of pulling out some of the hair just to make it loose and not so pressed down to my scalp. I like it to be like pretty messy. And I just mess it up until I like the way it looks and I'll get a mirror and like, look at how it looks from the back. So yeah, this is what I do when the ends of my hair are looking really bad, especially if the top isn't too frizzy. Like I don't have any definition on the top of my hair right now, but it's not looking super frizzy and unmanageable. And again, this is what I do when I still wanna have a little bit of a style to my hair and I'll keep my bangs out and I'll pull these pieces out and maybe even straighten them if I want to. And yeah, this makes me feel like I still look cute and like my hair is styled, but no one actually knows that I'm having a terrible hair day. Okay, now this next one is what I do when I'm either not in the mood to have my bangs on my face, cause let's be honest, if you have bangs, sometimes they're just freaking driving you nuts, especially if you're on your period and it's that time of the month where you're just like extremely grumpy and you wanna cut everyone. This is what I do. I push them the frick back. Or if the top of my hair is a frizzy, disgusting, awful mess, I'll also do this. So um, I'll do a low bun like I already did. I'm not gonna take it down and redo it cause that's silly. But I'll take a little beanie. Beanies are literally my best friend. I cannot wait for winter every year because I can just slap a beanie on and I don't have to worry about the top of my hair being frizzy. But this is what I'll do. So again, if I don't wanna wear my bangs or if my hair looks like crap, from the root all the way to the ends, I do the bun for the ends and I put a hat on for the roots because the roots are probably frizzy and crazy and a gross mess. I don't feel like messing with my bangs and there's just really no hope, beanie. I love Carhartt beanies. Um, I just feel like they're really nice, they fit good. Don't really have any complaints, I have a bunch of them. Um, I'm such a beanie person, I love them. So yeah, freaking beanie bro. Oh, and by the way, if I'm just like absolutely not in the mood to fool with my hair whatsoever, that again is a time when I would just slap a beanie on. And sometimes I'll even leave my hair out, but I do like to pull it all forward. 
and just wear it like this. Like if I'm not wearing any makeup and I'm just running to the grocery store and my hair looks a little bit rough, but I can go a little bit longer without washing it. This is what I'll do. Um, I wear a beanie like pretty much every single day in the fall and the winter. The ends of my hair normally look better. It's normally the top that's just like, what the frick is going on, you know? Beanie. Let's say my bangs like need a trim and they're just incredibly long and being obnoxious that morning and I don't want to wear them. And sometimes all of my hair looks pretty good except for whatever reason these front pieces get stretched out so bad and I don't want to put heat on them because the front pieces tend to be the ones that break off the easiest so you really don't want to be putting heat on your little like face framing pieces. So what I'll do just to add a little bit of something to my hair to make it look presentable is I'll take one of these cute little clips. So this is actually like a little fabric leopard print clip and I'll take this piece and pull it back. Just the piece that's like a little bit stretched out and looking annoying and I'll literally just clip it like that for a little pizzazz, you know? And you can use any clip. Like I also have this cute little pearl clip. Like oh, how cute is that? I love these. Um, I don't even remember where I got these. I think just like one of the random ones at TJ Maxx. I do actually prefer these little barrette ones because these, the ones with like the little hinge on it that kind of like open like that, they're a little bit bulky. And when you actually wear them, you have this like big chunky piece sitting right here that I don't particularly enjoy. So I I do like the little barrette ones that kind of like sit flat up against your head. Let's try it on the other side actually and see if that looks better. That's something I'll do too is just like I'll flip my hair to whichever side has the most volume and looks the best in the front. Then I'll pull this side back and again I like to leave a little bit in front of my ear I think or do I? I can't remember. We'll just pull it back for now and then give it the old clip a -rooski. So cute. And then I normally will pull it all forward, I think. It just kind of depends on my mood, you know? That's cute, right? <gasps> all right, so for the next one, I'm just gonna take all of my hair, pretty much the top layer, and I'm not even really gonna leave any pieces out this time. I'm just gonna take all of it, and I'm just gonna loosely hold it. I'm not pulling it super tight, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull my bangs out. And then, again, take my little hair scarf, and this one's just really cute and simple and it won't give you a freaking headache. Sometimes those like higher ponytails on top of my head at least will give me a headache if I wear them for too long. So this is nice to just have it like a little bit looser on your hair and it still looks cute. These little freaking hair scarves are so cute. I love them. And I probably would leave my bangs just like this and not pull them down for this hairstyle. I think I prefer it that way. Oh, and also a lot of you guys ask me, you say that you're like wanting to get bangs. Should you get them? Would I recommend it? I freaking love having bangs. They're so versatile and you can just do so many different things. You can push them back or wear them down and it just gives you like even more variations of ways you can wear your hair. Okay, so another one that's a little bit more gentle on your scalp is to just take these like front two chunks, not even really like the top half of your hair, just these front chunks, and you just pull it back and you take a little, oh, frick, and you just take a little clip. Ta-da! I bet you've never seen this hairstyle before in your entire life because I just invented it right now. It's really complex. But yeah, seriously, like I was saying, you guys, I know these are like incredibly simple, but maybe you haven't thought of them. You can literally get these little clips at Walmart for like a few bucks or something, but very easy, won't give you a headache. You're welcome. Okay, and last but not least is my messy bun. So like I said, I've gotten a few questions on how I do it. Truthfully, I don't have much of a method. I don't think we're gonna find out, but I'm just gonna show you what I do. So I am gonna flip my head upside down. This is gonna be really hard to show you actually. I'm gonna try though. Can you even see me? Barely. I just gather all of my hair with my head flipped upside down and I do my best to like smooth out the lumps. Oh, today's gonna be a lumpy day though, I can already tell. And then basically what I'll do is, I don't like to have my messy bun too, like too much towards the front of my head. I do like it to be kind of at an angle back here. And I'll basically grab my hair bow and do the same thing I showed you before where when I twist my hair, I grab all of it. And then I wrap the hair tie around all of my hair. And then I'll pull the bun out first and like kind of mess it up and make it like as big as possible basically. And then I'll take all these little extras and I'll just kind of tuck them around. I don't really necessarily 
tuck them into the hair tie quite yet, but I really just mess it up. And then if I have a big chunk like this that's sticking out, I will take that and go ahead and tuck that into the hair bow. But I really just mess it up until I'm happy with it. That is honestly like, too perfect for me. I don't really like the way that's looking. Okay, so I actually hate this, so I'm gonna do it again. This is what I do though for my messy bun. I don't like it to look too perfect. I want it to look really messy and I don't know, just not super uniform. So I'll just do this a bunch of times until I'm happy with the end result. So another thing that I'll do is kind of run my hands, run my fingers through my roots because if there are any knots near your roots, then that's gonna create a lot of those bubbles. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's just kind of like, detangling just slightly so I can get that part to be a little bit smoother, if that makes sense. Okay, then I'm just gonna do the same thing again and hopefully I get a better result this time. And I don't mind a few of these pieces sticking out, so I don't always tuck all of them. And then sometimes if these little like loops are too big, I'll even take those and tuck them back in. You just gotta play around with it till you like it. Like I said, I don't really have much of a method with this, but I'm just showing you guys since some of y'all asked, and then if I pulled this part too tight when I was pulling all my hair back, I'll just kind of stick my hand into it and pull it down and pull some of that out of the bun. But I actually like how much I pulled out. I like this to be a little bit poofy. I don't want it to look like that. Um, I want it all to look a little bit more messy. So again, my two kind of variations of this hairstyle will just be like with or without bangs. So if I don't wanna wear my bangs, I'll just take them and bobby pin them back. But I do pretty much always pull little pieces down whether I actually pull my bangs out or not. So I'll pull these out. Normally I'll straighten these cause these pieces are on my ears for whatever reason, like to curl like that and it drives me nuts. So that's an option or more often than not, I do like to pull my bangs out with a messy bun. And again, I just run my fingers through my bangs until they look good. And sometimes it takes a little bit longer and sometimes it's quick. I honestly don't like this whole smooth part, but that might be as good as we're gonna get today. I don't like it to look like those little, what were they called? Like the little sock buns or whatever. I don't like when my bun looks like that, where it's like really smooth. I like it to be a little bit more messy, but also don't really care that much, so just do whatever your preference is. So yeah, here's the bun. And that's all my hairstyles. Okay, you guys, that completes this video. I hope this was helpful. I hope I gave you guys at least one idea for a way that you can wear your hair. And just remember that my hair doesn't look good every day either. If it looks like crap, I'll just throw a hat on or wash it again. We don't have to follow curly hair rules. Remember, you can wash your hair if you want to. It's not that serious. And if my hair just seriously is like looking ridiculous, I'll wash it. Hopefully this helped you guys in some way. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.